Hi, this is Becky Irwin on Marco Island, and today I'm going to show you how to make meatloaf. You take two pounds of ground beef. I don't like to do any fattier than 85-15, so 85% lean, 15% fat, or you can do even more lean, but don't go any fattier than that or else half your meatloaf will melt away. Ketchup, grainy mustard, Worcestershire sauce, dried onion soup, two eggs, half cup of water or so, and breadcrumbs. Real easy, simple recipe, no chopping, no prep. First of all, you take two pounds of ground beef. You can also use one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground pork, but I couldn't find any ground pork today, so two pounds of ground beef it is. We also need about a cup and a half of breadcrumbs, and I never buy breadcrumbs at the store, so what I do is I make them. Easy enough to make. These are some buns that I had high hopes for and then never actually got around to eating. They're pretty dry. <laughs> they might be a week old or so. Voila. Breadcrumbs. Two buns. It's about a cup. So I'll get another half a cup out of this other little bun here. Breadcrumbs will do for your recipe is it keeps it from getting too dense. Put the eggs in. Two eggs. Put our ketchup in. Mustard. Give it a good scoop. Worcestershire sauce. If you like to get in there with your hands, by all means, wash them first, and then you can go ahead. Let's see, very quickly it comes all together just like that. One more thing I'm gonna put in there is pepper. And the reason I'm not putting salt in, even though I'm a big lover of salt, is because the onion soup and the Worcestershire has a lot of salt. Get your breadcrumbs in make sure they all get distributed evenly throughout. And the reason I'm making this is because it was a request. Somebody on Facebook saw my YouTube show and asked if I would do meatloaf. And I said, a what? Of course, I love meatloaf. And this is one of those wonderful meals that you can get the kids involved if you like to cook with your kids. And um, it's also so good left over. You can, you can keep meatloaf in the fridge for about a week, if it lasts that long. Um, or you can freeze it and bring it out in six months and it'll still be delicious. Okay, so all done with mixing it. Loaf pan. You put it in here, just like that. I like to kind of pull it away from the sides a little bit so that the, the juices have a little channel to drain in right here. Heinz, everybody. Yes, my family's from Pittsburgh. Only Heinz. Okay, so what this will do is it'll make a nice glaze on the top and it'll get a little crusty. So we're just gonna pop this in the oven at 350 for about an hour. See you later. Okay, let's see what we've got. like meatloaf. Mmm, can you smell it? Yum. That uh, ketchup is sticky. You can tell it's firmed up and there's a lot of juice in there. So be careful when you take it out because there will be a lot of juice in there. In fact, it's not a bad idea to put um, put like a pizza pan or a, or a baking tray underneath this when you're cooking it because it can get a lot of liquid coming out of it. So. Go ahead and put something under there. All right, I'm gonna cut into it. Oh, lots of juice. That's what I love to see. That first one is kind of hard to get out, but I'll just pull it out like that. Yes. 
look. And that is a beautiful meatloaf. Just as I thought. Plenty of salt. It's not dense. It's it's very got a great texture and uh, wonderful flavors. I think that this is probably one of the best meatloafs I've ever made, and I've made many. Happy cooking during quarantine. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> I eat the whole thing.